Hello there. Today we are quickly going to see how to share a Canvas app. First, let's head over to make.powerapps.com. From the top right corner, click on environment. And here you can search for your Power Platform environment using the search and filters. Once you select it, you will be routed to the selected environment. Next, from the left side menu, click on apps. This now shows you three tabs, my apps, which shows all apps that you have created, shared with me, which shows all apps shared with you, created by others. And finally, all where you can see everything. Now let's search for our app using the search bar on the top right corner. You also have a search box on the top center, which is mainly used to search for the app and immediately play or edit it. It doesn't give more options. So we are just going to use the top right search bar. Once you find your app, you can share it by selecting the app and clicking on the share button from the top menu or by clicking on the three dots and selecting share. In here, you can see multiple sections. The top information section shows any information or warning for sharing the app. In my case, the app requires premium license. So it shows a message about the premium license requirements along with the information that I'm currently in a developer environment. The second section is for searching for users or groups or accounts to share my app with. Along with the list of users it, that already have access, right now I can see my own name. That's because I'm the creator of this app. If we move on, we see a custom message and an image option for sending out to the user in case you have checked the checkbox for sending out email invitation. Now let's search for a user. Once I select the user, it shows that the user needs to have access on SharePoint as well as data source, which are used in this app. It is important that you share your data source access to the users first before sharing the app to avoid confusion. In my case, since I have data was stable as well, I can choose which security role I want to assign to the user before sharing, for example, CCI admin. Next, I can choose to add the user as a co-owner of this app by filling the checkbox. Initially, the user is added with only user permission, which allows them to use the app but not edit it. But once I select the co-owner, the user is not now not only able to use the app, but also edit and share it with others. In my case, I don't want anyone else to edit the app, so I will leave it blank. Once I hit share, the permission will be updated and the user now has access to the app. You can decide to not only share the app with individual users, but also with other accounts or groups like Office 365 group or a security group. This will give all group members permission to the app. You also have the option to share the app with everyone in your organization without explicitly trying to share with individual people. To do this, simply search for everyone in the search bar and depending on your organization name, you will see everyone in and then your organization name. For example, everyone in SSVPPD because that's my org name. You might notice the checkbox to make selected user as co-owner is disabled. This is the same case with Office 365 group or the security group. You cannot set any group as a co-owner. You can only share with individual accounts, which is a user account or a service account. That's all for today. See you on the next one.